Welcome to the latest release of Mahara version 2004, because released in April 2020. I'm Christina Hoppner, Mahara Party Blade, and I'm going to introduce some of the highlights of this release to you. The Mahara team and I would like to thank everyone who has contributed to this release in the many ways that you can participate in an open source project. Be that business analysis and UX, graphic design, front-end, back-end development, system administration, translation, support, testing, peer review, and not to forget the sponsors of new features and bug fixes. And many, many more. Now, let's take a look at some of the features that you see in this release. The language toggle. When your Mahara site has multiple languages installed, you can switch between them directly from the main navigation area at the top of the screen. Click the language toggle icon and all languages that are available on the site can be selected. Once you selected a language, the interface is presented in it. You can still switch languages also in your account settings, but the toggle makes this more accessible. Give priority to institution members when sharing your portfolios. When you are on a site that has multiple institutions set up, you see people from your own institution listed first when you want to share your portfolio with someone. You can find people from other institutions, but your fellow learners come first. Personal group labels. If you collaborate with people on a regular basis in groups or use groups for assessment purposes, you can quickly have a lot of groups to manage. Seeing all of them all the time can make it difficult to find the right groups. That's why you can assign labels that help you filter groups in which you are a member. These labels are only visible to you and you can use them on the groups page, in your sidebar, where you can select which groups to display and also on your profile page in order to narrow down which groups you want to show others. Default group settings. Site administrators can decide what the default group settings are for any newly created group. When a person creates a group that doesn't have all the options available, those will be ignored. The default group settings do not affect existing groups. Combined export. We usually recommend it portfolio authors exported their portfolios in both HTML and leave to a formats to be flexible in how to deal with their archive later on. It is not necessary anymore to decide in which export format to archive either your entire account or parts of it, because now all available export formats are downloaded in one single file. If you want to re-upload the leap to a file, then that part of the export will be used and otherwise select the index HTML page. It is also possible experimentally to export entire account as PDF files. Restrict file types. Site administrators can restrict which file types are accessible to upload in the config PHP file. That puts a note into the file upload area and only allows files with the specified file types to be uploaded. Move account to an SSO institution. It is possible to move your account to another institution without administrator intervention when the intaking institution uses single sign-on. Then you can go through the process of moving your account yourself by verifying your login details with the SSO site and performing the move. There are a number of other SSO improvements in Mahara 2004. For example, when SSO is the primary authentication method on a site, the login button is displayed more prominently and the normal login fields are tucked away. Site administrators can set up SSO so that it pulls more information into Mahara and gives staff and administrator permissions to people with certain roles automatically by doing role mapping. 
You can also assign a role to be the group administrator in every group that is set up. Furthermore, you can set up institutions with SSO automatically based on the parent SSO credentials. This makes it possible for a group of organizations that share an IDP to set up institutions without an administrator needing to perform that work manually. Cover images for pages and collections. You can set a cover image for a page or collection to be displayed on the pages and collections overview page. That makes it easier for you to distinguish between different portfolios. You upload a cover image in the page or collection settings and can change it at any point in time. Users are people. The term user is pretty loaded in the English language. Therefore, we are on a mission to remove it from Mahara. That has happened for the most part, allowing us to celebrate people more on the site and use terms that are often more specific to what they are doing. For example, portfolio author, group or institution member, or have a more neutral term altogether. There are a few places, mainly of a technical nature, where the term user still comes up, but for the most part, it's not in our vocabulary anymore. There are several other new features still in Mahara 2004 that didn't quite make it into the highlights, but that doesn't mean that they are not equally important. If you want to read up on the features highlighted here and other new features, you can find them documented in the Mahara manual at manual.mahara.org. And of course, you can download Mahara 2004 on mahara.org or also get it from Git. We look forward to your feedback on this version and um, discussing Mahara with you on the community site at mahara.org.